The expression beat around the bush comes from a time when hunters used to employ someone to hit trees with a stick. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Or did you know that letting the cat out of the bag originates from a medieval scam? Unsuspecting customers would open their shopping bags expecting to find some chickens and have the shock of their lives. When you stop to think about it, some everyday phrases make a lot of sense. From a wild goose chase to crocodile tears, these expressions have surprising origins, some that go back thousands of years. I'm Michael Fliss 25, and this is 25 Fascinating Backstories of Common Expressions. 25. Bury the Hatchet If you're a forgiving person, you might have buried the hatchet before. The expression is used to mean resolving an argument or making peace. When Europeans first arrived in North America, they picked up the saying from Native Americans. Many tribes would bury their weapons to celebrate a time of peace. It symbolized avoiding violence and was a sign of trust between different groups. 24. Getting the Sack This sounds like an odd expression, and that's because getting the sack goes back hundreds of years, long before we were working in offices or at computers. During the Industrial Revolution, manual laborers would carry around a sack full of tools for their work. If the boss didn't want you around anymore, they would give you the sack, meaning it's time to pick up your things and leave. These days, it's more like getting the email, or in America, getting fired. 23. Stealing someone's thunder. Where on earth could stealing someone's thunder come from? An 18th century playwright developed a new way of simulating the sound of thunder for his production. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to save his failing career. His technique, however, was picked up by the production company staging Macbeth. The creator of the method was outraged. He said that it wasn't just enough for them to reject him, but they also stole his thunder. 22. Break a leg Just like thunder, breaking a leg comes from theater. Actors have a lot of pressure in the build-up to a production. Just like sports stars, they become superstitious about their performances and didn't want to jinx each other. So instead of saying good luck, they began saying the opposite. There are plenty of other superstitions, like not saying Macbeth or whistling in a theater, but Break a Leg was the one that made it to the outside world. 21. Last Ditch Effort In the military world, camaraderie and a fighting spirit is everything. In an effort to inspire his forces, William of Orange told his fellow Dutchmen to fight and die in the last ditch, in defense of Holland against the English and the French. William of Orange was able to fend off his enemies and rebuild the army, which is why he is now considered the father of the Netherlands. It's also why you might see Dutch sports fans wearing orange. 20. Beat around the bush. You know when someone's just talking in circles, stretching things, and doing anything but getting to the point? Well, so do hunters. Well, sort of. That's where the expression beat around the bush comes from. Rich hunters specifically hired a person to beat the foliage, trees, or bush with a stick. Why? Well, to get the birds, rabbits, and boars to run out from hiding. Once the animals emerged, the game was on, and the hunters could get back to what they were all there for. 19. Flotsam and Jetsam Now here's an expression you don't hear every day. Flotsam and Jetsam. Unless you've just constantly watched The Little Mermaid. It comes from the nautical world, meaning things lost at sea. The two words have specific meanings, too. Flotsam refers to debris from a wreckage floating in the water, like wood. Jetsam is anything that was thrown overboard deliberately and later finds its way to shore. Don't worry, though. In everyday speech, flotsam and jetsam don't have such meaning. It's usually used to mean bits and pieces. 18. Hijinks Hijinks means excited, lively behavior. In other words, a whole lot of fun. The origins of the term are just as entertaining. It goes back more than 300 years to a drinking game in Scotland and England. The game was called Hijinks and involved rolling a die before completing some random task. This often ranged from drinking to pranking. As time went on, the term Hijinks became linked to crazy antics in general. 17. Under the Weather Are you starting to feel a bit sick? You could say that you're feeling under the weather. That's what sailors would say to describe an illness coming on. Usually the weather or seasickness was to blame. And to get a bit of rest, sailors would go on the side of the boat below deck. This section is also called the weather rail. Before long, the expression was shortened to under the weather. 16. Wild Goose Chase This is just one of the thousands of contributions of Shakespeare. In his epic Romeo and Juliet, one of the characters refers to a wild goose chase. Our modern use of the expression means to take on a task that's pointless. 
Some have argued that Shakespeare was probably drawing on a kind of horse race where a series of riders would retrace each other's steps. If that's the case, then the origin comes from a misunderstanding of the game. Either way, it's unlikely the expression would have caught on like it did if it wasn't attached to the name Shakespeare. 15. In the nick of time. Something done right before a deadline is a great feeling. That concept is expressed by in the nick of time. This one dates back to at least the 1500s and to a device called a nick stick. This was something used for keeping track of time, keeping score, and even for financial transactions. The stick had small notches, also known as nicks, to be used as markers. As a nick stick became associated with precision and accuracy, the nick of time entered the public consciousness. 14. Let the cat out of the bag. Firstly, why would a cat be in a bag? Well, the reason relates to scammers. In the Middle Ages, traders would put animals like pigs or chickens into bags after selling them. Think of it like an early version of a shopping bag. Sometimes, though, sneaky sellers would replace these animals with a cat at the last moment. Cats were essentially worthless, so letting the cat out of the bag meant realizing you'd been swindled. Today, we tend to use it more for revealing a secret rather than being deceived. 13. Riding Shotgun did you ever call Shotgun as a kid to get the rights to the passenger seat? That's more than just a game. Before automobiles, when people were dragged along by horses and stagecoaches, there were a lot of dangers. Along the road, the coach could be attacked by robbers or animals. To safeguard the passengers, a guard often had to accompany the driver in the front. And you guessed it, they would carry a shotgun. 12. Till the cows come home. The expression, till the cows come home, is from the Scottish Highlands. In that part of the world, cows can graze for months on end before returning back to a farm in the fall. If you ever hear this expression, it normally means a very long time. 11. Apple of your eye. The first recorded use of this expression dates back to 885 CE, but it's also used in the Bible and later on in the work of Shakespeare. In some ways, it simply refers to the pupil of the eye. Across all these sources, it has a similar meaning, something that's cherished and valued more than everything else. Now it's usually used in a romantic context. 10. Pulling one's leg. Ever had a friend who likes to joke with you by telling stories or tricking you? Well, then you know what it's like to have your leg pulled. This expression has become so widespread, which is why it's been studied heavily. Unfortunately, there's actually no clear origin story. One account is a little dark. It refers to when somebody was publicly hanged and pulling their leg down would bring it to an end quicker. The other theory relates to how thieves would pull the legs of targets as a distraction before robbing them. 9. Crocodile Tears Forget Shakespeare in the Middle Ages, crocodile tears go all the way back to the ancient Egyptians. For people living next to the River Nile, crocodiles were a constant threat. People began to notice that after spending a long time outside the water, or after eating, crocodiles seemed to be crying. In reality, this is because their eyes needed more lubrication. But for ancient Egyptians, it was a clever way of getting humans to let their guard down before attacking. That's why the expression crocodile tears is used to mean a fake display of emotion. 8. A sight for sore eyes. This expression is used to mean seeing something or someone as a welcome relief. It can be traced back to the early 18th century when Irish author Jonathan Swift included it in the book Polite Conversation. Now, it's a nice way to compliment somebody. 7. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. You always want what you can't have. And nowhere is that more true than in romance. That's why the proverb, absence makes the heart grow fonder, has become a cliche. It first appeared in the work of a Roman poet named Sextus Aurelius Propertius, but in a slightly different form. In that poem, Propertius writes, always toward absent lovers, love's tide stronger flows. It was repeated in many different ways over the centuries before, in 1844, poet Thomas Haynes Bailey gave us the famous words that we have today. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. 6. Raining cats and dogs. If you aren't a native English speaker, you might think someone was pulling your leg by saying it's raining cats and dogs, but it's a pretty common expression to communicate a heavy downpour. One explanation comes from Norse mythology, because the god Odin is responsible for storms, and he's usually illustrated with wolves. Once again, we find one of the earliest recorded uses in the book by Jonathan Swift. Nobody knows whether he coined the phrase, but ever since then, raining cats and dogs has been incredibly popular. 5. Turn a blind eye. Turning a blind eye is 
pretty self-explanatory. It means to pretend that you don't see something. The tale of its origin is also straightforward. During the Battle of Copenhagen, the British naval leader Horatio Nelson was ordered to withdraw his forces, but he didn't want to obey. So he looked through the ship's telescope with his blind eye, telling his officers that he did not see the signal. Nelson had lost vision in one of his eyes during the French Revolutionary War, and so was literally using his blind eye. The expression had been used before, but Nelson's story carved it into history and spread it to the public. 4. Straight from the horse's mouth As a punter, if you want to bet on horse racing, anything that helps you find the winner is valuable information. That's where the expression straight from the horse's mouth comes from. It appeared in a newspaper article as early as 1896 that advised punters to ignore what the horse owners say. Another origin could be from the horse trade, because smart buyers literally looked inside a horse's mouth to check their teeth and gum health. These days, the expression is still used in the same way, meaning to get something from the original source. 3. Bust One's Balls If somebody's harassing or nagging you, they are busting your balls. This seems to be an expression that only applies to men, but originally it wasn't used for people at all. It refers to how farmers castrate cattle that eventually become steak. When exactly it started to be used for humans is up for debate, but busting balls had a spike in popularity from mafia movies like Goodfellas. 2. Bees Knees This next one might be a little dated now, but once upon a time, anything that was cool or trendy was the bees knees. We need to bring it back. It was found throughout the 18th century for something that was incredibly small, and the expression didn't get picked up until the 1920s. At the same time, phrases like the cat's pajamas and the snake's hips became popular simply because they were nonsensical. One reason that Bee's knees changed into something cool might be the dancer B. Jackson, who was a popular dancer on Broadway at the time. 1. Burning Ears When your ears are burning, it means that somebody might be talking about you at the time. This strange belief comes from the Romans, and they even had a different meaning for each ear. The right ear signaled that someone was giving you compliments, while the left meant criticism. So if you ever get a hot feeling in your left ear, it might be time to think about any enemies you've made. So what's your favorite saying? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, use these finger guns, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in the description. And if you like this video, make sure you check out this one, where we dug up the origins of 25 more everyday sayings. From the cat getting your tongue to going bananas, it'll answer questions you never knew you had. So what are you waiting for? Click here. Trust me, that video is the bee's knees and the cat's pajamas put together. The, the bee cat's knee pajamas. That's how incredible this video is. Click it.